Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Power Block by Block. Today we are looking at the beautiful, beautiful regulator. So just a quick note at the very beginning of this, I'll just say it does have the color tag, so uh, you can color tag things. Now that aside, um, this has two different functionalities that it can be used for. One when it's in line with pipes, and one when it's directly next to a chest. We'll start with the inline pipe functions, and then we'll go to the next to chest functions. Although, for the purpose of this video, I'll just be keeping it next to the chest the whole time, just to make it easier. So, it has three inventories. Now, at first we're just going to focus on these two, and this first mode. It has two modes, as you can see by clicking this button. When it's just in line, which means it's not directly connected to a chest like it is now, these two inventories and this mode, which is ratio mode, are the only things you have to worry about. So the first one here, this inventory slot, this is going to be what the regulator accepts. So I put two gold blocks in here. You can see I have gold up here, wood down here. If I try to put wood in, it's not going to accept it. However, if I put wood in here now, there you go, the regulator has gone ahead and accepted the wood. Now, something you will notice though, is that this wood's not going anywhere, it's just sitting in the regulator. So if I send a piece of gold, now there's a gold and wood, and if I send another piece of gold, you'll see it outputs a redstone signal, and that the items got put in this chest. Well that's because of this ratio mode. Why it's on ratio mode? It's going to wait until this inventory over here is exactly duplicated in here, and then it will go ahead and send those items into the pipeline. And of course you can add color tags to them. So that's basically what you can do when it's not directly connected to a chest, and that is super useful for auto crafting, just kind of like that buffer was that I showed you earlier, except, uh, you know, a more precise auto crafting system. You can the regulator will wait until it gets one of every item and then it will send one of every item out accordingly. However, it has a whole nother functionality to it that uses this last inventory here. This last inventory here will detect the inventory that it's attached to if it is. So basically, if this is in a pipeline, this is going to do nothing. However, if it's directly attached to a chest like it is now, you'll see if I put two gold blocks and a piece of wood in here that the buffer, not the buffer, the regulator go ahead and it shuts down which means it will no longer put items into this chest this red dot will come on and it will go ahead and send out a redstone signal. So basically what this last one does is inventory checking. So you'll see if I remove this piece of wood it, go up, it goes ahead and turns off and says well now I'm waiting for a piece of wood to go in here. So this can be an easy way to detect um, what exactly is in an inventory. You can use it for trading systems, auto crafting systems, I'll let your imagination roll with what exactly you can do with it. So along with that, you have another mode one directly attached to a chest. And so the way this one works is it checks whatever's in here and whatever's in the chest and if something that the regulator gets is in here but not in the chest, it will go ahead and send it to the chest. So if I go ahead and get a piece of wood and send it through, it knows that it needed a piece of wood in the chest, so it will go ahead and send the piece of wood from in here into the chest even though um, the whole ratio of two gold blocks to one plank was not met. And of course, if I take this wood block out, out and put it back to ratio mode, put a wood block in. It's not going to put the wood block out, but change the mode, and it goes, oh hey, this chest needs that wood block, so I'll just ignore the fact that I don't have the two gold, and I'll send it over anyway. So that is basically what the regulator does. It's just kind of a fancy, advanced way to um, manage inventories and manage ratios and auto crafting systems, or let's say you're using like a... Uh, a furnace, you could have it so that for every um, eight iron, it would send over one piece of coal. So you can get some pretty cool things with that done. Uh, thanks for watching this block by block on the regulator. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider like, commenting, and subscribing, and I hope to see you all next time. Toodles!